Hello there. Today I'm going to tie this. This is a uh, glimmer shrimp, a classic, classic Danish uh, coast fly, uh, but also a, a pattern I think that could be used uh, around the world uh, for a lot of different things. Uh, this is a type, a, a type of fly. So you can tie this in in any color variation that you that you like. But the pink one is really, really great for the Danish coastline. It's a fairly simple pattern that has proven time and time again to be very, very deadly. So the first thing we need is, is an Arex hook. Um, this is the light predator, uh, no, the light stinger in size 4. And I'm just going to apply some thread here to, to the hook to have something for the materials to latch onto. Then we're going to add some uh, some weighting material. Um, for this I'm going to use some uh, some non-lead wire because uh, lead wire is prohibited in Denmark. But um, if you have lead wire then use that. Otherwise the non-lead is nice as well. So just a bit of this here to give this fly a bit of weight. Because the uh, the crystal uh, the the flesh chenille can be a bit tricky to to actually get to 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 sink properly for the first uh, the first few casts. So then we're gonna tie in the tail, and the tail of this is gonna be a polar, uh, no, not polar bear, but uh, Arctic fox. Arctic fox has a lot of nice. Uh, properties for uh, for for tying uh, tying shrimp patterns. It has these coarser coarser hairs that would look uh, that looks great like uh, like antennas, uh, antennas, antennae. I don't know what that is plural, but <laughs> you get you get the point. So and this tail should not be too too thick. So about this would be sufficient. And I'm tying this down right here. Oh, that's actually a bit too long. So about there, and it has to have about the same length as, as the hook. And there you have the tail. I'm going to tie down this uh, fox here all the way up to where my, uh, my, uh, my weighting is, uh, my, my weight material is, so to get a better transition from the, uh, from the, uh, from the tail part up ab onto, the, uh, onto the weighting material, like so. Then the next thing we need to do is tie down some uh, some uh, some eyes, and I use the shrimp, uh, the easy shrimp eyes, which are very good. They're on a stalk, and there are two eyes there, so you can you can tie down two eyes in 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 one go, which is very neat. And I tie these, of course, so they are sticking out on each side of uh, of my tail, like that. But I have a bit of space behind these eyes. Uh, for for tying down a, a hackle that we're going to use in a second, so 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 I, I will be able to make one or two turns of of my hackle behind uh, the eyes. In between the eyes and the tail, I cut that off. So again, so uh, so the the stumps of this is is all the way up to the uh, all the way up to the uh, to the to the non-lead wire. That was a small stump there we didn't need. And then we're going to need a hackle. And for this I'm using a soft hackle in, uh, in fluorescent pink. And this is to give a better transition between, uh, between the tail and, uh, and, and the actual body. I need to find myself a feather here. I'm using uh, the Mets, uh, the Mets so soft hackles. And uh, I've been using these for quite a lot of flies. So uh, this one, will this work? Oh, that broke. Too bad. Just gonna take a few more. As you can see, uh, the bag is is near 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 to to finished. Just gonna pour out the rest of these. Um, uh, these mets uh, mets. Mets feathers are, are great value for for your money, but uh, but you have to sort them through to to get the exactly the one that that you want, uh, because there is of of course something for for everything. There is some smaller ones and some bigger ones, and and depending on what type of fly you want, um, uh, these are these are quite good. But but the better option if if you're tying a specific size every single time is to simply to simply buy a f a full cape, or a full settle. So now I find a fe the feather that I want. This is missing the tip, but that doesn't matter because I only need this. And uh, and, and and the feather has a top side and a downside. Uh, 
a lower side. And and the top side, um, uh, when I want to turn this, I want to have the feathers folding backwards. So so I simply I take this and then look at the take the the top side and point it in towards me and then I strip the left side because when I do that that will means that that my feather will be placed correctly as I start tying so I tie this down here right on to where the eyes is cut off and then I turn my hackle. And the first turn I'm going to do, uh, probably the first two turns I'm going to do, is going to be behind the eyes. Like so. And then I'm going to turn in front of the eyes. And as you can see, the feather here the curve of the feather uh, really is is pointing backwards as as I predicted as and as I wanted them to because I prepared the material correct and I tied it in the correct place like that <laughs> then I'm gonna cut off the feather here and then I'm gonna fold this a bit back and then tie on top of the feathers to force them into position like that okay and the next thing I need is my is my fluorescent oh sorry about that my fluorescent pink uh, crystal senile and that for, has been misplaced for some reason I'm just gonna find some so my fluorescent pink uh, crystal senile here I'm going to take some of this and I'm simply going to pull out some of the senil here like that and then I'm going to tie this in on top of everything here just where the eyes are like so and then I'm going to move the thread up towards the eye and then back again. I'm simply just, I want simply to cover everything nice and thoroughly in thread now, like so. So everything is in place. And then I move the thread all the way up to the eye. There you have it. Then I'm gonna take the crystal senile here and I'm gonna turn it like a hackle um, but you want to space this out a bit this is the 15 millimeter variation of this you do not want to turn these exactly on top of uh, on top of one another because uh, that will give a two bulbous and too bulky a fly. So you will have a, a millimeter or two millimeters in between your turns here because that will give the right properties and uh, and and make your fly look better out in the water and also uh, the fly will be easier to to fish because it will it will sink better and stuff like that. So I turn this all the way up to the eye, tie down the uh, the crystal senile. I'm gonna cut that off like so, and then as you can see now you have something that looks fairly fairly bulky and fairly fairly yeah, crazy. Um, then I'm gonna do my whip finish, and then the last thing you of course after you apply some varnish or some uh, some uh, some super glue something like that. Then the last thing you need in order to make this fly finish. Is, is to cut off this crystal flesh in kind of like a carrot shape. So you angle your scissor and then you cut off so you get, you get a tapering shape all the way towards the back of the fly. And you do that all the way around. So it tapers all the way around. So it gets more a shrimp shape. Or a squid shape. <laughs> because this 
could very well be. I'm, I'm fairly certain that a lot of the times when, when sea turtle grab the, these type of flies, they actually grab them because they think they are squids more than they think they are shrimps. There are more shrimps and more, more, more squids out on the coastline than, than what, what it, one imagines. But there you have the finished result, the, uh, the glimmer shrimp. Easy, fast, and uh, and uh, and well, very very effective for sea trout in in the Danish uh, in the Danish coast, but I'm sure this will work for bonefish and stuff like that as well. As I said, do it in 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 other colors, and and you have something that truly is cool. <clears throat> well, as always, thank you very much for watching this video, and swing by my webshop flytying.eu, or of course subscribe for for more videos like this. So feel free to comment if you like the fly, and uh, and as, as I said, re subscribe to the channel. That would mean mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching, and uh, good luck fishing. <laughs>